for several years, we have been going from community to community to capture a collection of digital stories. We encourage everyone to tell their own story. To get you started, here's some inspiration. Just by looking at someone, you would never imagine what they have been through. Loida is with us now to share her powerful journey. First of all, I just want to take the time out to um, commend you for, for being so courageous to share this topic. And I know that when you were in the digital storytelling workshop, it wasn't, it wasn't ever a topic you had really shared with anybody before. So why did you feel like it was so important to talk about this? Everyone has a unique story, so I thought my story is as unique, and I think a lot of people have problems out there too, so maybe they didn't feel so alone if they heard my story. What was it about the workshop that kind of brought this out of you? I saw everyone sharing a piece of them, and I got, com I, you know, I got a little comfortable with everyone, and I thought I, this was an opportunity for me to use my coping skill and open up with everyone. Um, did you kind of get some good feedback and, and, and did you feel comfortable with others like sharing this deep subject? Yeah, I, I was nervous at first with the feedback, but everyone loved it. They said I was brave and, you know, that had a positive effect on me. So I thought I should keep talking more about it. All right. Um, I want to take a look at your story because I think that the imagery um, and the way that you express yourself is is very well done. And um, I know you haven't seen it in a little bit, so I just want to take that time to revisit it. All you see are smiles and laughs on this face. All I want to do is scream and disappear. Nothing but bad luck is hitting me right now. Forced to sleep somewhere that is not home. Waking up every morning to faces that aren't my family. The state is taking over my life, putting me in places they call foster homes. I cry myself to sleep, wishing for a miracle, knowing it will never happen. If you knew everything that runs through my mind and every emotion I am experiencing, you would probably want to cry here for the sympathy. Sympathy is something I don't want anyone feeling for me. I'm not someone to feel bad for, even for the circumstances I'm in. I came into this world alone, so I should be able to deal with my situations on my own. I don't ask for help, even when people think I really need it. And these words on my mind will not escape. That's why these doctors are prescribing these pills they claim will help me. I don't need medications or these doctors to help me change. I can overcome all of this by myself, and I will. As a facilitator of workshops, um, listening to the first like rough draft of the stories, I always wonder what the person is going to choose to use as a visual. And I think it was very interesting that you chose yourself to use a Rubik's Cube. What was the, the reason behind that? It was the first object that popped into my mind because I used certain techniques to solve it. So then I started describing and comparing it to my life. I use certain techniques so I can be where I am today, happy, more calm and relaxed. I love that. And I know that the workshop sparked a little interest in you to kind of get into this field. Where are you now with that? After the workshop, I started um, joining journalism club at school and that brought me to work with NEPR's Media Lab. And it was another, you know, kind of a workshop where there was audio editing, there was skills to learn to tell stories by media and audio. So I started getting into that, and to this day, I'm still included with that. What is it about the field that draws your attention? It's the freedom. I feel, mm -hmm. I feel free when I speak, and you know, just telling my own story. And I can also see, interview other people. And it's exciting to me. I didn't really find, think that I was gonna join something like that, but then, you know, things happen. Yeah, and I think what I love about the field um, is the, the message that you can bring across by doing different forms of things like radio or the digital story. What message do you want people to get out of your story? That they're not alone. They might feel right now that they're upset. They're always going to be upset. There's no happiness for them. But it's not true. They're going to have people helping them, especially themselves. What have you learned about yourself going through this? 
that I, I am a strong person. I'm brave and I can get through things on my own. Thank you so much. Um, you're an inspiration to us all. Thank you so much.